Stephen, no shortage of talking points in that one. Can you sum up your emotions after that? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the heart rate to come down, Emma. Um, listen, it was a fantastic game for, for the neutral. I'm sure you've all enjoyed it, but from a, from a manager's point of view, um, there's certainly a lot to analyse. Um, obviously, defensively, we, we haven't been at it tonight. We haven't been at our very best. And we've conceded three goals, and that's the second time in, at this level we've done that. So uh, that tells me we've got a lot of work to do in terms of our organisation. But listen, it's very difficult to win away from home in Europe. Uh, I think, you know, experience of Scottish teams going out in Europe tells me that it's very difficult to win at this level away from home so I've got to give the credit boys uh, the boys credit uh, uh, for winning the game and um, I thought we were much better second half yeah absolutely I mean there was a huge test of character on, on several occasions what's it say about your players the fact that they kept coming back and ultimately got the win across the line we said to them at half-time um, not to panic, uh, we were 2-1 down, but even if the game stayed at 2-1, it wasn't the end of the world because we got the away goal and um, I'd seen enough in the first 45 minutes that we can cause the, this team problems. Um, obviously, the injury didn't help us when it happened. I thought we lost a little bit of our rhythm at the time, but I always knew I had quality on the bench as well to add to it. Uh, I thought Ryan's come on and... Um, you know, showed us freshness coming on and he scored a wonderful goal. I think over the course of the 90 minutes, we deserved to win the game. We could have scored a few more goals. And, um, yeah, listen, it's a, it's a crazy football match to analyse right now because it, it's only just finished. But I think um, once I watch it back, it'll be, it'll be proven that defensively we need to work a lot and improve a lot. Um, but it shows that we have got character and a lot of quality in our team. Did you feel aggrieved at half-time to, to go in 2-1 down, given how control the, the team looked at 1-0? Well, I thought we could certainly improve. Um, I thought um, we we didn't play uh, the first half full throttle, both with the ball or without the ball. I thought we had some real opportunities to go and hurt this team in the first half, and we didn't take them opportunities on. And out of possession, I just thought we were a little bit slow, a little bit lethargic. Um, so we just asked the boys to commit a bit more to the game and um, put the foot to the floor in and out of possession, hunt in packs and we'll still get them unbelievable moments and then it's about belief and going and taking them opportunities. Um, you know, we've still got work to do in this game but we've put ourselves in a real good position. What about Alfredo Morelos? He didn't get on the score sheet but he was influential in several opportunities. He was a constant influence up front for you this evening. Yeah, really pleased with his performance. I thought he improved as the game went on. Um, he's done enough to deserve praise in terms of his all-round game. His hold-up play was good. Switching the play, being a constant menace, taking shots on. Um, I think he'd done everything tonight but get on the score sheet. But um, that's a good thing for me because he'll be desperate to get on the score sheet at the weekend and next Thursday as well. Uh, and obviously you, you've talked about the defensive issues, but what about the two injuries, James Tavernier and, and Kimar Rufu, who went off in the first half? Yeah, uh, Kamar's got another calf, so that's a concern for us. He's getting too many of them calves at the moment, so we're going to have to look into that and maybe get him to see the right people. Um, he's very down and frustrated at the moment, so that's a blow for us. And um, obviously James going off as well. James never goes off the pitch, so um, that worries me a bit as well. But we'll look at both situations, we'll, we'll analyse them over the next couple of days, and hopefully they're not as bad as, as first feared. Um, but what I will say is the, the players that come on the pitch to replace them were, were outstanding. I thought Leon Balligan today really rolled his sleeves up and done an excellent job for the team, parked his ego, didn't worry where he was playing and, and, and done a fantastic job. Well done tonight Stephen, thanks for your time.